curiosity absolutely killed the cat on this situation after many requests from you guys and I've been spending a lot of my time on TikTok so I've watched a lot of TikToks. I finally placed a, a rather large order on Jones Road Beauty. If you don't know, Jones Road Beauty is Bobbi Brown's new makeup brand and a lot of you guys had questions about this last time I talked about it. So Bobbi Brown, the person, started the Bobbi Brown cosmetic line that you all know very well today many, many years ago and she was running it, all of that. Estee Lauder ended up buying Bobbi Brown's makeup brand and Bobbi Brown, the person, was in charge of Bobbi Brown cosmetics line for a while, obviously with Estee kind of running things I would imagine. And I just remember Bobbi Brown, the person, saying that the direction of the brand was no longer her vision and she ended up leaving Bobbi Brown cosmetics line behind but obviously they still kept the name and it was a legal agreement. There was a certain number of time that she was not allowed to enter the cosmetics industry and that time has now gone by and it, so Bobbi Brown the person has now created Jones Road Beauty which is now her current makeup line and if you've read Bobbi Brown's the person's books or you've followed her, t taken any of her online classes, anything like that, you would know her aesthetic for makeup is really natural, enhancing natural beauty, using your fingers, not layering, everything about the makeup industry right now is pretty much against her style. So that is what this makeup brand is about, which is not really my style, but I think it's really cool that Bobbi Brown went out and did the makeup line that she really envisioned. And I've known about the beauty line Jones Road. Since it came out a few months ago, I've been eyeing it, but I was never ready to take the plunge because there wasn't much interest from you guys. And then Bobby Brown got on TikTok and she has absolutely blown up. It was the best marketing that she could have done. And so now there's a lot of interest. There's some drama as well. And you guys wanted to know my honest thoughts. So here we are. I know that was quite a breathy backstory, but I just wanted to make sure we were all on the same page here. So I ordered like one of almost every product. Not a super cheap makeup brand. It's definitely on the high end price range. Everything looks really clean and simple with the range. And I did try all of these products yesterday. So I'm, this is a second impressions, but I have some thoughts. If, if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of gave you a little hint as to how I was feeling. But we're gonna start off with currently the most controversial product on the range right now. This is the What The Foundation and it is $44. So it is not cheap for foundation. It's going to come in this glass packaging, which I think looks quite nice, very heavy. And when you get it, you might need to mix it up it is quite a messy product, let me show you. I've already mixed it up since I used it yesterday, but some of the ingredients will separate, but I still find it to be messy nonetheless. And if you're curious, I picked up the shade beige, but these colors are going to definitely cover multiple skin tones because this is a very sheer foundation. They describe it as a tinted moisture balm meets traditional foundation. I found that the best way for me to apply it has been with my fingers. I used it with both a sponge yesterday that didn't do anything and a brush. Now this foundation has a really kind of sticky consistency. This is the brush that I used yesterday. It still feels sticky. It's made the bristles clump together. I do not like that. I need to clean this brush. I'm not really happy about that. Fingers is the way to go and that's the way Bobbi Brown likes to apply this or recommends to apply it anyways. We're gonna put a little bit on the face and beige is a great color for me and I'm just going to spread this out with my fingers so as you can see this gives a very minimal coverage so it is for that everyday makeup kind of look and then you can see the sheen that it gives as well it definitely gives off a really healthy glow to the skin don't even bother adding a second layer. It's not gonna add any extra coverage. This is what we got. I mean, if you like foundation for coverage, this product is not going to be for you. But if you just want a little bit of evening out and then a healthy glow to the skin, I think that this looks really beautiful at this point. I don't recommend this product for oily skin because the finish of it is almost 
sweaty. Okay, it is summer, it is humid. I actually think it is a very pretty glow, but yesterday I set half of my face with powder and I let the other half go. The side without the powder was looking really, really sweaty, but I do think it is a very pretty skin-like natural glow. For what it is and what they advertise it is, it looks quite pretty on the skin. But here's the thing that I dislike about this product. It makes my face so sticky. Like right now, the touch of the skin, it feels gross. So what I struggled with yesterday, my hair was literally just sticking to my face. And I just, I don't like that. If I'm going to wear such a lightweight product, I want to feel like I'm not wearing any product. And I feel like I'm wearing product because my face is sticky. So for giving no coverage and my face being so sticky, I cannot get past the aspect of how it feels. If you go over it with a paper towel, it will pick up the product as well. I don't like how sticky it makes my face feel. When I put powder over top, it does reduce the stickiness, but my face is still sticky. So that's the one thing that I just I can't get past the only time I would reach for this product because it does look pretty bare on the skin is if I'm one have my hair up because I have long frizzy hair it touches my face all the time my hair would get stuck on this all the time I have to have my hair up and if I'm only running very quickly to do some errands not for long-term wear because I just cannot deal with the feel on my face so instantly for me I'm telling you now I don't like this product. This is not for me. I can't get over my face being sticky and my hair sticking to it. That being said, maybe you're not bothered by the stickiness. The wear time on it was pretty good. I feel like my skin looked good both powdered and the side without powder though. I was a little sweaty looking but maybe you're into that. If you're oily, I don't think this is a very good foundation for you at all. You will look super duper duper super sweaty like not even to a flattering point so <laughs> that's my two cents on this if you are on tiktok and watching there's a lot of drama revolving this product i think it looks beautiful on this skin but it's just not functional for me i am gonna do a wear test and you'll kind of see how i'm feeling about it Next product that we have is the face pencil. Where's everything made? I didn't even check. This pencil's made in Germany and the foundation's made in the USA. So this is what the pencil looks like. It is a very short kind of stubby stick. Really simple, like I said, I have shade seven and this is $25. So this is what it looks like. I am typically not a fan of a pencil concealer like this, but I actually like this. So I'm gonna put it right around my nose where I have extra redness and it's quite creamy. All things considered, again, I just prefer using my fingers to blend this out. This is very Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown always suggests using fingers. I normally don't like using my fingers, but concealer stick benefit from the warmth of the finger. Is there anywhere else that need a little extra coverage? Not to brag, but my skin looks good right now. <laughs> which is not the case 80% of the time, you guys. So not bragging that hard. I love this color on me. It doesn't give too much coverage, but let me show you it under the eyes. So I'm gonna focus some of the product right here and then the inner corner, and then I'm gonna use the warmth of my finger to blend it out. This is a really great natural concealer. If you are traveling, this is spectacular just to get a quick pick me up in the morning. You can also use this to clean up eyeshadow, clean up under the brows, whatever you want. Now, I don't love this as an under eye concealer. Moving forward after this review, I will continue to use this product because I do like it, but I just think it doesn't sit as pretty under the eyes in the crevices and whatnot as other like liquid concealers that I prefer. Again, it's great for a quick pick me up, running out really quickly, not really caring too much about what my makeup looks like, but it does sink a little bit into the fine lines. But since it is such a lightweight product, it doesn't look too bad, but I still notice it. It still is just a bit too dry underneath the eyes for my preferences, but everywhere else, I really like this stick. Quick one and done though, like this, I can't complain. I think it got the job done. It matches perfectly with how lightweight the, what the foundation is because that's so natural. You don't want a concealer that's gonna give too much coverage. So this is perfect. We're not done with it. I'm gonna play around with it later to show you what else we can do, but I do like this. This is the first product that I ever saw Bobbi Brown talk about on TikTok. This is the Miracle Balm. It is $38. There's a few different shades. 
I ended up picking up Dusty Rose. This is made in the USA, and here's what Dusty Rose looks like. And Bobbi Brown swears by this product. Let me show you the swatch. Yeah, I don't know if it's just the color that I got, you guys. But this gives me a whole lot of nothing. I can see the glow that it gives, but I get no color from this, and I did not pick the lightest shade in this. So this is supposed to be like a miracle bomb. It's a wash of soft focus moisture to perfect and enhance the skin. Wear it alone or layer it on top of foundation for an instant refresh. It's supposed to be hydrating. I'm gonna put it on my lips. I mean, it's versatile in that aspect. Does not add any color. And now I'm gonna put it on my cheeks. Now, if you're dry, this could be a quick pick-me-up to kind of hydrate the cheeks, but I really don't think it does too much. It adds a subtle glow, but the foundation itself is already glowy enough. I didn't feel like I needed it. I just don't see myself reaching for this product. It's really big. You get a ton of product, but it doesn't really give me much of what I want. Is my hands feeling sticky after application? Yeah, I'm not really into the hype of this product. I think when this would be nice would be almost when you're not wearing any makeup and you need a quick fix of hydration to the face. This is nice, but this is not a product that I think to reach for. And even if I'm thinking of it for a quick fix, this is quite bulky and heavy to like carry around in my purse for that quick fix. So for me, I'm not as into it. It does give that kind of sheen to the face, which is pretty, but it is also so like, yeah, you put a balm on your face and again, it just adds to the sticky factor that I can't, I can't get behind. Not for me. So that's my thought on that. I wonder if I got a deeper shade, if more of the color would show through. That's how it's looking online. But again, it doesn't do too much for me. I just find it to be too pricey for how little it does. I'm drinking from Karen Harris's mug right now, Makeup Savage. While that sets, I picked up the brow pencil. I almost did not pick this up, but I'm glad I did. So this is $22, comes in five different shades. It is that kind of chubby stick style here. I have the shade Brunette. And this is what it looks like. Super cute. I wish these came with a sharpener. They're kind of an odd shape or size. So I'm just gonna brush my brows up and this you're not gonna get a super crazy fill in, super precise or anything. This is just to fill in the brows, you know? So I'm gonna quickly fill in the bottom to find down here. I really like this pencil for kind of quick and dirty brows. Normally I'm not doing quick and dirty brows, but again, I just think of this makeup line as perfect for running out of the house really quickly. You just want to spruce yourself up. It's a bit creamier than I prefer. I feel like when I blend it out, it can get a little messy, but it's not bad. It's just a little creamier than I prefer. But again, just for a quick brow fill, this is really, really nice. This is all I'm gonna do. And the reason why I say it's a little too creamy, you'll see it just doesn't look as precise down here. If it was drier, it wouldn't look as clumpy. I'm gonna go in with a spoolie. Like I definitely need a spoolie to get my brows to the way that I like. But for a quick color that takes no time to the brows, I really like this. This is definitely something that I find to be very true to Bobbi Brown's aesthetic because she's not about the sculpted, structured precision when it comes to makeup. So this is something that I would imagine her line would have. But I really like this, quick and dirty brows for sure. This one is nice and I think it's a decent price as well. I'm gonna go back in with the face stick and I'm just gonna clean up underneath the brows. So I'm gonna mix that in down here. I'm gonna take a brush and blend it out. I just wanted to get my brows done because I feel like I <laughs> that instantly picked up my face. All right, let's hop on into the lip and cheek stick. I love a good lip and cheek stick. This has, what, it looks like three, six, eight shades, $34 each, kind of up there in price. Where are you made? And in USA, I got the shade Mauve Rose. And here is what it looks like. The component itself feels really nice, very sturdy. Let me show you the payoff. This to me is miles better than the Miracle Balm. I imagine the Miracle Balm giving color like this because I feel like it's still a little sheer, but it has a balmy finish. 
I recommend this over the Miracle Bomb, that's just my opinion. It also feels a little less sticky to me as well, which I prefer. So I'm just going to put this on. You see, it's very sheer. It still is true to that Bobbi Brown look, but there is a purpose to it. I just didn't feel like the Miracle Bomb was giving me much purpose for the price. And then you can just use your fingers to kind of push it in and blend it out. And this is super duper pretty. It's also less sticky feeling which I like, but yeah, you have a very skin-like, natural look to the skin with this. Let me show you it on the lips. It doesn't do much on the lips. It adds a little bit of color. I don't really like this color for my lips, but I do like this product. It is a bit expensive, I think, kind of comparing it to some of the other products in the line, but I think it works really great. I think it's a great addition to the Bobbi Brown line. It definitely fits in with Bobbi Brown's makeup aesthetic, so I do like this. This is going to be great over tinted moisturizers and everyday natural makeup, even on bare skin. This one's good. It doesn't last the longest, but I like it. Okay, let's move on over to the eyes. I picked up two different products for the eyelids. We have the Just A Sec eyeshadow, and then I also couldn't help myself. I thought this was so random that she had this, but I got a sparkle wash. So we're gonna start off with the Just A Sec eyeshadow. This is $26 for a single pop. I picked up the shade Pewter, made in the USA, and it comes in this cute little pot, and I thought it looked so beautiful. Let me tell you now, I really don't like this product. I did use it on a bared lid yesterday. Like, I just popped it in my lid with the current situation, it did not last at all. It got super creasy really quickly. I had eyeliner on my upper lash line. It moved around so much that it completely covered the eyeliner. You could barely see it. This was not staying. If you have oily eyelids, run far, far, far away from this product. I'm going to try and give it a fair chance today and try and accompany it with other eyeshadows and see if that makes a difference. So first things first, I'm gonna do what I did not do yesterday was use an eye primer. I'm telling you now though, I just was assuming with the aesthetic of Jones Road Beauty and how it's supposed to be quick, kind of one and done makeup. Just a sec eyeshadow is literally what it's called. I did not think I would need an eye primer, but I have high hopes for today. We're gonna give it a fair shot. But on your own eyelid, I don't even have oily eyelids. I do have like weird creases and stuff, but longevity is not something I struggle with. So that was a red flag to me. I'm gonna take a powder bronzer to see if that will also help the product hold on a little longer. This is just the Sigma Beauty Medium Matte Bronzer. I'm gonna just put a little bit here again, trying to give this product a fair shot, try it in multiple ways. So here's what it looks like. I just think it looks so pretty. I was very excited for this product. Kind of feels like an extra creamy eyeshadow. Again, it's gonna give more so of a wash, but it's quite reflective. Use my ring finger. If you have long nails, you might struggle to get this product on. I'm just gonna put this all over the eyelid. The application is nice, really is quick and easy. And at this point in my application yesterday, I thought that my makeup looked great. So that is what this looked like. So I'm telling you now, I don't recommend this. It is $26, it is way too expensive. I don't think it is easy enough to use. I'm gonna see with layering products if that does anything. But yeah, performance on this was not good for me. The other item that I picked up for the eyes was the Sparkle Wash. This is $24. There's a few shades here that I thought looked very pretty. I don't know, I thought this was random that she came out with this, I just didn't see a product coming out like this fitting into the line, but I really like this one. Contrary to the pot eyeshadow, this did not budge. It stayed all day, it looked really gorgeous on the eyelids, it did not overlap and cover my eyeliner. I enjoyed this a lot. So if you're interested in this product, I think that this is really nice. I ended up picking up the shade Midas, and let me show you. Ooh, it's just so pretty. Now you can layer it on to get more of an opaque look, but you can also blend it out with just a little bit of product to get kind of a shimmery, sparkly, subtle. I, I am telling you now this is great. It lasts a long time. I'm gonna put it on top of the eyeshadow pot. Again, let's see if this helps. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the center of my lid. I'm gonna use my finger to blend it out. Work kind of quickly. I mean, I would say this doesn't dry too quickly to where you need to work super fast, but you wanna keep your eyes closed for a little bit or just tilt your head back for a little bit. 
so that when the product dries, you don't have any creasing. Because yesterday I opened my eyes too soon and it dried with the crease showing. So I had the crease all day. But once it sets, it sets. Just got to make sure it sets pretty. So I did a pretty thin layer of this. Yesterday I did a thicker layer and it still worked great. I feel like that kind of picked up the color underneath, but it is more of a subtle wash today. I did build it up a lot yesterday and it worked really beautifully on my bare lid. I didn't have anything underneath and it still looked good. I like this product. I mean, there's a lot of glittery products out on the market today, so I don't necessarily know that this is super special, but it works. Let's move on to the best pencil. I almost didn't buy this, but I'm glad I did. I thought it would be boring just to get an eye pencil, but this really is an amazing pencil. It looks like it won an Allure Beauty Award, and I think for good reason. I love this. So I love the shades that she has. If you read her books, she often tells you to wear eyeliners that aren't the traditional black. She'll say to use a gray liner, a navy liner, a forest green liner in her books, and I always thought that was odd when I was reading them many years back. And she has those colors in this line, which I think is really, really cool. And obviously now that I know makeup a lot more than I did years ago when I was reading that book, yes, these colors are underused. Of course she does have a black, but I ended up picking up the shade brown because I do love a good brown pencil. Here's the packaging of it. This is $22. I think that's a decent price. This pencil is fantastic. I really love it. Let me show you the ease of use on this. It is the perfect in between of not too creamy, but also not too dry. So it doesn't have a hard drag on the eyelid, but it also isn't so creamy that you make a mess. You still have control. With this pencil liner, I was still able to get a point. It almost looks like powder, which I really love. This is an item that I am considering purchasing more colors of, because I think this pencil is phenomenal. I don't need to layer it on too much to get the full opacity. Capacity. I have so much control over it. It feels like a very old school pencil because they used to be more on the dry kind of powdery side but modernized because of how easy it glides across the lid. It sounds so boring to call this my favorite item in the line but this is the product that ended up exciting me the most with how easy it was to use. It really is the best pencil and now I want more. And this brown, I feel like, gets pretty dark. Like I said yesterday, the pewter Just A Sec eyeshadow completely covered the brown and you couldn't see it anymore. But with the sparkle wash, it didn't cover it at all. It's just so easy to create wings. If you want, you don't even have to. I do have hooded eyelids as well, and I didn't notice it transferring onto the upper eyelid as well, which I know is something hooded eyes girls struggle with. And that happens to me sometimes, but. So this wing got a little messy at the bottom. I'm gonna take the concealer stick, put a little bit right here, then use a precise brush. This is just a random lip brush from Morphe. And clean it right up. You can also just use your nail, but this is a little cleaner. Isn't that awesome? I've heard great things about her mascara. I didn't end up picking that up just because I have too many mascaras right now, but this pencil, my favorite thing so far. <laughs> One more item from the line. We have the lip tint. I picked up the shade Pretty Jolly. There are nine other shades. This is $26 and I'm actually very happy with this. I think that this product is really nice. I like that you don't need a lip liner. The shade I picked up is rather bright. Let me show you. So again, this is Pretty Jolly or is it Pretty Jolie? Anyways. So that's just one swipe. You'll see it has a lot of color, but it is a very buildable formula. So I'm gonna show you one swipe. I like the thinness of it as well. So this is just like one to two swipes. Brightened up the face, added some color. Very hydrating on the lips. It feels really great. So this is nice to keep in your bag. Gives way more pigment than I thought it was going to. You don't need a lip liner with it. Now it's not super long wearing, but I'm okay with that just because of how comfortable it is on the lips. You know how sometimes lipsticks like these claim they're hydrating, but they're, they're just not. This one actually is. It's super comfortable. I really like it. And yeah, you can get quite bold with it. As well, so I do like this product. I'm not head over heels for it, but I think it's nice. You know, when you eat, it's gonna come off. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on the center of my cheeks. 
And you know, don't go on about how not using a product should be used. Bobbi Brown has said herself many times, you can use makeup however you like. She often recommends for the quick everyday woman to use lipstick as blush. And this for me, I think I like more than all of the other blushes. <laughs> I, I like color. I like a rosy cheek and this is gonna last longer. I think it looks gorgeous on the cheeks. It makes it monochromatic as well. I mean, I did like the lip and cheek stick. It's more sheer and wearable, but I think I prefer this as like the lip and cheek stick and you saw how easily that blended out as well. So that also is something to consider. I haven't put on mascara yet. But here is the final makeup look. I mean, minus my crazy wings that were larger than I anticipated, this is a very Bobbi Brown-esque kind of look. This is her aesthetic. This is what she preaches, what she teaches. I think it looks really good, just a bit sweatier for my preferences, but I want to show you the wear. I want to show you how these products actually perform. So I grabbed a translucent setting powder that's really lightweight. This is the NARS Translucent Crystal Light Reflecting Setting powder and I'm just gonna set this side of my face with powder and I'm going to clean up underneath the eyes make sure that's all blended if there's any creases I'm gonna get that out but I want to show you the difference so I'm gonna put some right here because I have pores there and those are being emphasized by the foundation and then the t-zone area and my forehead as well which the fine lines on there are being emphasized and I'm just gonna keep it there I'm gonna let the cheeks glow but it was mostly the under eyes and t-zone area that I wanted to set just to show you one how different it looks now from side to side adding that powder really does tone down the glow that the face has if you want glow if you're super dry then don't powder it that's fine I prefer just a little bit and we we will let the wear test do the rest of the talking. So I am going to put on some mascara and I will meet you at my iPhone camera so we can take a look. Okay, so here is how the makeup looks. I did put on mascara in front of the window. Powdered side, non-powdered side. I mean, the non-powdered side, she looks like I have balm all over my face. It's a look. Just don't think, you know, with me living in a humid climate that using the what the foundation and all of the other creamy products from her line without powder is doable but i'm gonna do it for you guys today i will update you in a few hours i can kind of see actually the concealer traveling a little bit in the fine lines nothing crazy I'm not mad at it but just wanted to share this is exactly what i do not like about the what the foundation this hair is just completely stuck to my face. And if I don't look into a mirror, hair is just gonna be stuck into my face. If you have a bunch of baby hairs, I have very frizzy hair. I have a, like, so many baby hairs breakage that stick to my forehead. This is not, no. I need to wear my hair up to wear this product. A little unofficial update, but I just had to show you this. I ran to the store, it was like quarter of a mile walk and look how sweaty the side of my face looks that's unpowdered the side of my face that's powdered i mean wow but yeah oily skin if you live in a humid climate you're gonna be outside you better use powder all right i am ready to give you guys my final thoughts on my first experiences with jones road beauty it's been about six hours and i just know yeah, so across the board, I will say this brand isn't my style of makeup, but I can still appreciate it for what it is. And I think overall, my makeup looks decent. So let's start off with the most popular item that a lot of people wanted to know about, the What The Foundation. I do not like this. So taking a closer look here, here's the unpowdered side and the powdered side. I mean, the unpowdered side looks really, really bad. <laughs> I, I went for a walk outside. I live in a very humid climate and it just did not go well. The side that's powdered definitely looks noticeably better. I still look a little sweaty, but nothing compared to the unpowdered side. My skin feels sticky in the wind. My hair sticks to my face. This is not a product I would recommend. Something that I would recommend over the this that gives a similar amount of coverage, a similar glow to the skin, but I feel like wears better. I'm sorry, it's not cheaper. But the Chantecaille Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, I like this a lot more. They have similar qualities, but the overall performance of the Chantecaille is better. So that's a no for me. 
The face pencil, I do like it. I don't love it, but I like it. It does pretty good underneath the eyes because there is so little product. Yesterday, I really layered on the product and it started to swim in those lines. I would say all in all, it looks pretty good today. So less is more with this. You're definitely gonna wanna wear something super natural. The side that I used a little bit of powder looks a touch better, but there really isn't that much of a difference. I more so like this for using it on the face to hide redness and also using it underneath the brows and to correct things around my face. Probably won't use this for under eye concealer very often except on extremely natural days. But yeah, I like this. I, I recommend this. The Miracle Balm doesn't do anything for me. I think it's overpriced. I think it's a little too clunky. I know it's Bobbi's most like coveted item in her line. She absolutely loves this and it's kind of a do-all for her. I like how it feels on my lips, but not worth it to me. I do enjoy the lip and cheek stick. It's not my favorite like lip and cheek stick on the market, but I think it's very nice. You have to love a really glowy finish and something more sheer for this to be up your alley. I think the performance is decent. Longevity isn't fully there, but it's okay. I don't love it but I don't dislike it. I do dislike the Just A Sec eyeshadow. This does not last, I find. It lasted a lot better today because of the glitter over top, but you can still see it separating on the eyelid and slowly starting to cover the eyeliner. Yesterday when I wore it on its own, it just was not good at all. Today was a little bit of a better experience, but I just know I don't like this. The feel is similar to a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, which, which is a lot cheaper. I mean, the Super Shock Shadow is a little bit more powdery. This is a little bit more cream-based, but you're better off getting a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow over this, in my opinion. Much, much better performance. Everything. <laughs> the... Sparkle wash. I do really like this. I don't think it's a necessity. I just feel like there are a lot of great items like this on the market, so it's not really competitive, but it does a really good job. It kind of made the eyeshadow pot work a little better. It doesn't crease, so if you like the way that this looks, this is a very solid performance. A bit expensive, but super solid. The best pencil, arguably my favorite item from this whole video. It is bomb, you guys. It does not smudge. It does not transfer. It's super easy to apply. You can get a lot of precision with it. It's not too creamy, but it's also not too dry. This to me is the best pencil, literally. I am tempted to just order more colors of this. I think it is so awesome. 10 out of 10 recommend and they have great colors. If you have the Bobbi Brown makeup book, if you look through her looks, she'll suggest different colors for different looks if you need inspiration. I think I'm gonna go look through that, but yeah. Love this, favorite item. Also, I think coming in a close second, this is my second favorite item, is the lip tint. So on the lips, this does not last at all. You can see it's not even on my lips. I ate, it's, it was a goner. This is just something that's gonna need constant reapplication, but it's nice just to bring a little bit of color back to your face, maybe a little bit more color if you buy one of the bolder shades like myself but I found that it worked so good on the cheeks as a blush as well I much prefer it over the actual lip and cheek stick I don't see the lip and cheek stick on my cheeks at all but I can still see from this on my cheeks it blended out just as easily so this to me is a lip and cheek stick I think it is awesome if and when I place an order for more of the eyeliner pencils I will add a couple other shades of the lip tints because I think both of these are awesome I love how hydrating the lip tint feels as well so I am very very interested in picking up more colors of this so two best items lip tint eye pencil and here are the good items. I enjoy the sparkle wash and the face pencil and then we'll throw the lip and cheek stick in here. I think this is good as well. Oh, I almost forgot to mention the brow pencil is a solid good as well. Not one of my top two favorites, but I like it if you like a quick brow fill, you don't care to shape or fake hairs you'll like this just for quick, super easy eyebrows. So this is a solid good for me as well. And then the duds of the group, I don't really recommend these for my own personal experiences. Just a sec eyeshadow, especially if you're oily for any of these products, just run. Um, the Miracle Balm, I, it's too expensive for what it is. And the What The Foundation is not functional for my needs. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review of Jones Road Beauty. I hope that it was helpful. I had a lot of fun testing these products out. They're definitely different than the typical products that I use, which made it that much more fun. So thank you guys so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.